Hello, beautiful Scorpios. I am Raina Wells, and I'm going to be doing your Equinox reading to see what portal energies are opening up for you into a new vibration. We're coming to the Spring Equinox. If you don't know, Ostara is is coming this weekend, and so that is the Spring equi the Spring Equinox when we finally return closest to the Sun. Um, the Earth tilts closest to the Sun, so I'm going to be doing. A little bit different I have learned how to read cards since I was very small um, and so this is a spread that the uh, lady who passed down from her lineage gave to me um, this is you're not gonna find this anywhere I don't they, they somewhat relate to tarot card readings but they have different meanings so this is a very ancient reading um, you're not again it's, it's gypsy and I have Romani gypsy in me too so it speaks to my lineage so let's take a look um, before we get started I want you to think of your person just close your eyes and I want you to um, think of who has the feminine energy, the darker energy, uh, which is dark hair or feminine energy, which is the darker, the, the yin energy and who has the masculine energy. Okay. And just focus on that, which is, can be, uh, people sometimes go by uh, uh, the lighter energy, the one that feels lighter, you know, cause you have one that works in darker, one that works in lighter. And so, uh, or masculine and feminine, however you want to do it. And just think of that and we'll see what is going on with you and your person. We'll see what energies are opening up between you and your twin flame, soulmate. Okay, and again, this is a very ancient spread. I tap into ancient wisdom here, guys. Um, I've been doing this <laughs> many, many lifetimes. Cards seem to be my thing. Let's take a look. What is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? Also, North Node, guys. Make sure you look at your North Node. Please look at all the other readings that come out so that you make sh that you know that your alignment is, um, and take what resonates so that you can get a full picture of where your alignment is at. What is going on with Scorpio? Thank you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Okay. What is going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We're going to do seven cards. Seven. Okay, so just bear with me. If you guys like this reading, I would love it if you could like it. If you um, are new, hit the subscribe. And I'm going to be getting like a whole bunch of other things. And eventually I want to be doing rituals and ceremony and teach you guys how to work with like manifestation tools and all of these things. I'm building a, a magic school, um, an alchemy school. Um, it's part of my membership right now. I'm teaching my group how to read tarot right now. So if that interests you, take a look down below. Let's take a look. Okay, we have divine feminine energy making a presence here. Masculine energy, feminine energy masculine energy masculine energy feminine masculine one two three the feminine is thinking of the masculine more than um the masculine is thinking of the feminine what's happening right now i'm feeling feminine energy we need to surrender a little bit more of this connection um Yeah, it's a lot of passion in this connection, but it's not passion from God. Okay, right now. Okay, it's uh it's a human it's a human conditioning that's happening here, okay? So feminine energy Scorpio, yeah. It's a passion trying to use the passion here to for the masculine energy. Okay, um, the masculine is holding divine sexuality and the feminine is trying to bring in the passion here. So there's some type of balance that both of you are trying to access the divine here. Okay, um, but the feminine energy is aware of... I don't know, I keep getting third-party situation, guys. I can't... I mean, the jacks are third-party situations, so... Um, and someone that's very passionate. So feminine energy is aware of a very passionate um, third party that this masculine is holding a deep divine love sexuality here. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Whoever has um, this third party, well, we're going to clarify as well. The feminine is aware of somebody else or the feminine has somebody else. But this masculine, no matter what that situation is, remember this is general, this masculine is holding some type of sexual um, 
sexual energy, but high creator force energy. There's human sexuality and dark sex, dark sexuality and God sexual. God sexuality does not come for twins until you have healed. So, um, that's what the masculine is holding. There's a lot of money changes that are happening here with the masculine energy. Look at that. We have the Joker. So, um, what I'm getting here is, uh, they're really, really choosing to change the masculines, okay? That's a free will choice. They can stay in this situation if they want, um, but I feel they don't want to. This masculine does not want to stay in the situation that he's in. Definitely changing it and making that as a free will choice, not feeling trapped and actually making a choice. This masculine is holding a deep, deep love. It's actually affecting um, the truth. Yeah, it, if there's a third party, it's jabbing the heart in the third party situation, okay? This truth has been like a hot knife, okay? It's like jabbing it. But this masculine is really doesn't care. This masculine is standing his ground in a really big way, and it's affecting the third party in a huge way, okay? This feminine um, energy really wants to come. And this feminine is feeling this pain, okay? The divine feminine is feeling the pain of the masculine, just taking that knife and just, psh, it's like I see it going to the third party's heart and just being like ripping it out. And and that's the divine love though. That's the divine love of spirit. You, I mean, it hurts. It hurts because um, you can't make that up here. And this third party is trying to make it up. That's what I'm seeing. So this is a wanting of coming together. That sexuality, again, you may want to look at the cancer reading if you're dealing with a cancer. A lot of sex stuff going on in there. So um, this sex stuff, uh, it was for a uh, lenience of money, okay? And this feminine energy wants to passionately come together to discuss this, um, where the masculine may be siphoned. Or the feminine is very aware of where the masculine is being used, either for money, monetary reasons, for stability, for vacations, for nice things, for um, whatever. And this is why this masculine has got to level up his sex. Okay. Like he's leveling up to creator force energy where it's about energy connection more than it is about visual tactics. Okay. People only watch pornography because it's a physical stimulus. This is what I'm getting. Okay. People only, um, <laughs> human love is based on physical stimulus. This masculine is leveling up for, away from that and feeling energy to ignite sexuality within him, okay? We have the uh, masculine is holding a lot of deep, deep love for the feminine energy, for his counterpart. Deep love, deep love. Look at this. The king of hearts and the queen of hearts. This is a couple right here, okay, for a new foundation. And this feminine energy is um, feeling the changes in the passion, feeling the divine come in and passionately shift this energy. This third party situation is really trying to level up and trying to use the passion to say that it's God's work and it's not. It's just not. This is a very manipulative karmic energy, okay? We have here the divine feminine is very aware of this karmic energy, okay? And the money situation with the masculine. So there's a lot of money. Sex, <laughs> what am I hearing? Sex, <laughs> sex, drugs, and rock and roll kind of thing. That's what this connection's about. <laughs> All right, let's see what you guys have in common. Uh, there's a lot of shifts happening. Your masculine, I feel, wants to communicate, but it's going to be a little a little while. So just bear with me. You guys may want to fast forward this or you can watch. We're going to see what you have in common. We're doing this three times. What does Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Scorpio, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and North Node, what do they have in common right now? The Holy Trinity, okay? Masculine is holding that Holy Trinity down, Okay. Uh, this masculine knows the heart of the divine, knows that his abundance will come in through the heart of the divine and is forcing, not forcing, but is making himself like reminding himself is what I'm getting in his mind to be like, no, 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 no. That's just a trick. I'm getting tricked over here with karmic energies. And so this masculine is aware of, of deception, what's working, what's not working, the deception of the money, deception of the wealth, deception that the sex is bringing in. Yeah, you may want to watch Cancer, okay? If you're dealing with a Cancer cancer Scorpio. Wow, look at this. The Holy Trinity, the devil, okay? So 
you definitely need to watch Cancer, okay? Because we have here, this is a free will choice to play in Devil Energy, okay? We have threes are like the Holy Trinity. And so um, <laughs> we have the masculine holding the Holy Trinity to bring abundance, to bring love. But then we have here, the feminine energy is very much aware of the darker forces of sex, the Devil Energy, and what that's affecting. And that there's a free will choice to do that. So this masculine is making that free will choice or it's the feminine, whatever resonates, is is choosing to do that, okay? Because it's a wild card. So um, it could be the feminine is playing in darker sex or it's the, or it's the masculine. Um, you take it as it resonates for you guys. But yeah, that's what's happening right now. All right. What do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine have in common? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, and North Node. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, this connection, Scorpio, I feel you're dealing with third party. It's on its way out if it hasn't ended already. Wow, as I'm saying that, you got two sevens, okay? Sevens are a very spiritual number, okay? Um, there, It's an all religious text, okay? Uh, the earth was created, manifested in seven days, right? So uh, this is about manifestation for money and pulling the financial, moving out of the matrix, out of the the money greedy matrix, right? It, this isn't about money. It's about mission work. This is about um, ending things that are of like wealthy security just because, um, you know, or like having a mission. Thank you, Spirit. Having a mission that it's just about the money. Let's make the money. Let's make the money. Let's enlighten people and make the money. Like this is where this masculine is pulling out of it. This divine feminine is shining a light on that because whatever divine feminine is doing is shining a light on the karmic energies of this greedy wealth stuff that's happening. So this feminine is aware of the greed of the devil. The feminine energy is aware of where the focus is with the devil energy. The feminine energy is aware of the sex luring. But this masculine is leveling up. This masculine is holding creator for sexuality unity, okay? Um, well, six is sexuality. This is the holy trinity, but I keep seeing sex. Why am I saying sex all the time? <laughs> It's got to be related to cancer. This is the Holy Trinity. This is the Holy Trinity of love. And when I see that, that is about sexual union as well. That's probably where that message is coming through. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. What is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising? I feel like whatever is happening with the third party in your situation, Scorpio, there is somebody new coming in for the third party. All right. The person that's interrupting the divine union. All right. There is somebody else coming in. And one more time, guys, we'll see what else you have in common. This is the last time. I believe I did that three times. So let's see what else you have in common. And then we are going to, wow, yeah. Okay. Again, this is like, a stab into the heart. Didn't I not say that is what I'm feeling into the third party energy and this feminine energy is aware of the betrayal that needs to happen before the sacred love can come in. Okay, there has to be a, a cutting off of something completely. Okay. Let's clarify. Then we're going to pull some oracles at the end, you guys. So if you are liking this so far and you think this is something I should keep doing, comment below. Let me know. So yeah, we're hitting the spring equinox, which is we're getting closer to the sun. So the Tostada. I'm going to be probably doing a ritual for my membership group. I'm teaching them tarot right now. I just put out the second course and I'm making it into a mystery school. So there's lots of topics in there that I'm filling in on a weekly basis. It's $50 a month. Cancel anytime if you're interested. Take a look down below if you want to work with me. All of that is down below. All right, let's see what is going on. So let's see what's going on with this um, this one first, okay? This is the, the trinity of the devil, okay? Uh, luring and bringing in, um, just like the holy trinity, we have, the devil has army. You know, you have Belizebub, Lucifer, and one other demon I can't remember. But there's three that work together, okay? Um, 
that work for and Satan himself, right? So there, it, it, Lucifer is not Satan, just so you know. There's a, anyways. Well, I'll, maybe I'll do something on demonology if you guys are interested in that. But I know darkness, okay, completely. So I can read it like a T. Um, I had to walk through that to know it. And this is what spirit is showing me. God is showing me now. The father is showing me that there's a lot of arguments around um, what is keeping this masculine trapped. The feminine is very aware of it. So if it's a feminine energy that's getting trapped in, in um, the darker energies, you, you're going to have to do some healing feminine. If it's not and it's the masculine, yeah, this is a... <laughs> You guys have sevens galore, Scorpio, okay? So this is divine um, divinity coming in with love to try and bring illumination to this entrapment by the devil, okay? I keep hearing sex. It may not be sex, but um, it's like the Holy Trinity. It's like emerging, you know, but it's in the devil sense. It's like keeping you trapped in the realms of darkness. And that's what's happening right now, either with feminines or feminines are knowing that the masculines are going through that. So take that as it resonates. It may be some of the feminines. I'm seeing for a group of you, it may be the feminines playing, maybe in some magic stuff that you shouldn't be doing. Okay. Well, and some of these feminines may not know what they're doing or I'm not saying that you don't know what you're doing, but there may be something, if you've been feeling a little uneasy in your home and you're trying to clear it, I'm seeing some of you trying to clear it. Really look at where your prayers are going and your intentions. Um, yeah, your foundations and how you're passionately doing your mission, okay? Spirit is saying that for feminine energies to just focus on mission. Don't focus on anything else but you and God at this time. It's going to help the masculine pull out of... Um, this masculine is holding this love, though, so... This masculine is holding this love, okay? So this feminine energy, you've got to pull out of it, okay? Whoever is in this connection, the feminine energy has got to pull out of this darkness. There may, there's a massive healing happening for this Scorpio feminine, okay? So this masculine here is holding this holy trinity down. Out of anything... Uh, ending a massive dark this masculine has ended a dark cycle okay so i feel like whatever's happening in your situation scorpio um the third party is affected okay i'm not seeing that much third party stuff i'm just picking it up intuitively but what i'm getting here is this masculine's done with third party feminine may not be aware of that feminine needs to level up now is what i'm getting okay so this feminine yeah yeah the feminine knows that the, neither the masculine has been stuck. This isn't getting different story. So the, ma the this feminine know that the masculine energy was stuck in things. It may not have realized. You may be not feeling your twin as much or feeling the masculine energy as much. And you're wondering where this is going. And, and that's because it's time for the feminine energy to level up now. Okay. That means, um, yeah, let, we're going to go, we're going to go a little deeper. Let's see. Give me another one here, Spirit, on the ten, please. On the ten of spades, yeah. The feminine needs to change, okay? The feminine is the one that's got to look at the mental capacity who's ever in this connection. It's, it's, um, someone could be dealing with someone who has a massive mental illness, okay? Um, the third party, if there's a third party or if it's the feminine energy, whoever it is has some type of mental disorder, okay? Um that has undiagnosed it's causing a lot of friction the masculine is leveled out out of this but the reason why this divine feminine is not feeling the masculine is because they're still focused on the past stuff and needs to level out of it okay um that darkness is whatever's happened in the, in this connection the feminine energy needs to level up out of it now to and not focus on what's happened karmically because your masculine's moved into the new vibration this is a so Feminines are need to move into the vibration. And again, I'm seeing the eight here with the eight here for the masculine. And again, it's like the, the feminine energy is trying to work focus on things of old. It's, yeah. The sex, the passion, divine feminine. Okay, so 
you've got to look at the passion. You've got to look at the sex. You've got to look at where the connection there. You've got to level up. This is a new portal opening up for Divine Feminine for Scorpio. Okay, It's a new path. It's something brand new that's opening up. That's what I'm getting. Whoops. I don't want to mix the cards up. That would not be good. <laughs> There's a divine order that they come in. So, yeah. All right, divine feminine. It's just a leveling up process. That's all I'm seeing. I feel that you've got to pay attention to what's going on in your home life. Yeah, 888 abundance, okay? There's a lot of abundance that's coming towards towards the sacred union of the divine masculine and divine feminine but there's got to be a leveling up process to bring in the divine abundance okay to focus on what this passionate sex thing is going on here um that's whole and old karmic energies that are still holding divine feminine um it's a thought pattern there's something that's still holding divine feminine down there's going to be a healing that's coming for divine feminine i'm not doubting that i'm feeling that with the equinox this divine feminine is definitely getting a massive healing a massive upgrade keep your vibe pure do your work stay in your lane i, I i'm really feeling that because this this connection is destined okay we have two sevens okay it's balancing and moving and this divine feminine is moving out of darker energies and moving into something very stable it's a stable uh divine alignment okay with sexual energies that are going to bring abundance they're going to bring uh it's like sex um manifestation but not from the darker realms from the higher realms. so this is the leveling up the feminine's got to do in this connection right now Okay, to move out of the lower realms and into the higher realms. There's something that, that's opening up for you, Divine Feminine. You will know. You may have been feeling the changes already. Okay. I'm not seeing the karmic here so much. This masculine may have ended karmic situations or the feminine is has ended it. I was get, picking it up at the beginning, but I feel like it's really done. Again, another sex card. Dark, dark energy. So it's coming into the lower realm so yeah and and so spirit is really trying to level both of you up into something more sacred so you may want to look at how you view sexual relationships love codependency um yeah there's we're gonna pull some oracles i'm getting ready for the oracles now for your reading so i definitely am feeling this is a divine love though okay there is um a love with the divine masculine divine feminine the divine feminine knows the dark arts here and, and there's a reason why divine feminine or masculine is leveled up here is because you still needed to learn certain things in the dark arts okay because it's part of your path um you have to know those dark energies before you can move on look at that divine feminine all right definitely learning the dark arts here masculine is holding this really sacred love and this new portal okay so yeah, it's, it's, you're a sorceress, okay? You have psychic gifts, but you've got to learn how to balance this out, Divine Feminine, okay? You've got to learn to balance this out. This masculine is leveled up already. Let's do one more on this is what I'm getting. We'll see what portals are opening up. Yeah, this, ma as I'm saying that, the masculine <laughs> has already leveled up and focusing on his abundance, okay? So, and tangibly manifesting things. They both love each other. Okay, they do love each other. The Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine do love each other. If there is a third party that was in, uh, coming in between these Divine Counterparts, I'm not seeing it. Okay? This is just the next leveling up for the Feminine to come into union. Okay? There's something, there's a new portal opening up. I feel once Divine Feminine does that, there's something that's going to be leveling up here for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, guys. So that is the card reading. I hope you guys like that. Let's pull you some oracles and see what is going on with your oracles to validate the reading. This is for Astara, please, for the spring equinox spirit. What portals in the near future are coming in for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their divine relationship, union, connection? What is going on here, please, spirit? Four, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And North Node. Make sure you look at your North Node. Let's take a look, guys. We're going to do some Romance Angels. What love portals are opening up, Spirit? What love portals are opening up for Scorpio? 
Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Okay. Deception. This is what I was talking about. There's something dark that's being hidden here still, right? From a past life relationship. Let go of control. All right, guys. So this is what's happening. This was the leveling up here that needs to happen to moving into something higher. There was a past life connection that brought in a lot of the deception, okay? Where the, it's got to, both parties have to let go of this um, control that's happening right now and just keep things very light and airy. Um, and again, I was seeing the masculine has already moved. And the reason why, Divine Family, you're not feeling the masculine Spirit is saying is to start leveling up. It, it has a lot to do with a mask, uh, maybe not seeing a pattern, but that's opening up. So don't worry about that. You will know if you're not sure what that is yet. It will be brought to you is what I'm seeing as the spring equinox approaches, as the start approaches and over the next week or so, okay? And it's going to unfold over the next few weeks, okay? So if you don't know what that is, just hold it in the back of your mind. You got to this reading for a reason, okay? So there is something that is shifting for you, okay? Okay, so let's take a look. What portals are opening up here for Scorpio? What portals are opening up for, yeah. Step into the stillness, Scorpio, okay? You've got to listen to your heart. You've got to manifest your dreams. And this is, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah. You've got to clean out the energy, Scorpio. You've got to simplify your life. You've got to step into the stillness. My power is born in the majesty of silence. So there's not much for you to do. There is a cleaning out of energy to level your energy up, to listen to your heart, to know where deceptions are laying in your life, okay? Um, where you're getting stuck, where you're getting pulled to, okay? So that you can truly move into a place of manifestation um, and plant those seeds. It's about planting, um, it says my dreams are coming true, so it's about to harvest, but something is holding one, the divine feminine back is what it's mostly that I, I'm feeling. Okay. Um, if this situation may not play out the way that you desire Scorpio, but that's because there's a lot of control that's happening. A lot of past life karma that's still playing out. There's still a lot of deception and masks being worn. And I feel you need to disconnect. Yeah. The masculine has been leveling up. So it's, it's the feminine's turn. And so. If this isn't a third party situation, um, the divine feminine just has to leave that third party situation alone. If it's not a third party situation, it's divine feminine has got to um, level up into that. Okay, it's a next clearing for for you guys. Okay, what else is going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus in the near future? What portals are opening up? Don't worry, Spirit has your back. You know, when you have a um, a deep understanding in your heart and you're following that spirit will guide you don't worry don't worry with how it's playing out in the 3d no matter if it looks painful just keep moving to and allow, allow the unfolding even if it doesn't look good or feel good you gotta just allow that unfolding to happen what's going on with scorpio sun moon rising venus and north look at that the yin energy what did I say? It's the yin energy that's coming into full full balance here. Okay, Scorpio, milk and honey. All right. So it is the feminine that's 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 exactly what I was feeling. So yeah, it's time to go and time to mend bridge, bridges with yourself and move into this new vibration. It is time to go, Scorpio. And I don't know what that means for you because this is a general reading. But it is time to go to find that milk and honey, to mend and heal these patterns. It's the feminine energy to level up. Your masculine has done this and and um, is, is holding that space. And that's why you're feeling that pull. And it may be also be why you're not feeling your masculine anymore, that there's a new vibration that's coming forward. Okay, so lots of healing coming, but this is a beautiful card. There's your milk and honey that's coming. There's an elephant dancing in the milk and honey. So the feminine, this is just... A last mending I'm seeing so that you can move into this new portal is opening up for you with Astana, okay, with the spring equinox. All right, I hope you like that. So much love, Scorpio, and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like this video. It helps the karma um, to come back to me in a good way. And if you'd like to work with me, all the info is down below, my email and everything. Bye, guys.